What's up, dudes and dudettes? My name's Seth, and we are back again with another troll. Die, fish! <laughs> so we're back here today, ladies and gentlemen, and check it out. Hey, Valor. This is the new map that I've been working on. First time actually showing it off in a video. We're very much like when I thought about this map, I thought of Sarge's Heroes. It's a giant kitchen. <laughs> so I hope everybody enjoys it. Of course, you can take the red portal from the hub to actually get here. Seems like everybody else is just kind of camping here with the Chloromancer. Uh, but anyways, oh no, you do not, Swaz. No, you do not. You think you're strong enough, but the Ice Sage has been nerfed, my friend. He has, yes, destroy him. <laughs> look at this, look at all the flowers and stuff. So anyway, this is a kitchen map, giant kitchen. Maybe it'll get into the hub PVP, we'll see. I don't know, the devs probably will never see this. But anyway, uh, I'll of course kind of walk around the map and show you it more so than actually playing it. Uh, right here, this is of course red side. I made sure to use browns and darker tones and stuff like that as well as making an orange wall to make it very clearly indicated that this is the red side and blue side of course is using lighter colors like white and uh, a lot of that is actually like very very light blue also the walls are blue blue and stuff like that they also have a fan up top which I will use right now just to show you that we do actually have uh, a lunar lancer path set up it's a little bit difficult to get up here so I might make that a bit easier I don't really have anything fancy on these cupboards that we're on right now, but that's okay. I, I didn't really think that we needed it. Get up! Get up there! I might have to put a jump pad up here. Yep, definitely. I'm lagging too much to actually get up. Normally, you can't actually just jump up there, but it's a bit tricky. So anyway, uh, there's the front door. There's a little bit of a dog door on it, which was the old entrance into here, but now we actually have a portal. There is spilled radioactive orange juice on the floor. Mostly, that was because I was noticing with testing the map, too many people were just running across the center of the map and running back with the flag. So I tried to put uh, stuff around down there to kind of dissuade people from that. You can also, as you can see, you can get up here with the Lunar Lancer. You actually can get on the fan. Uh, you can do it on the other side too in the fridge because you can actually spawn on, I think, the pizza and right down there is the main spawn. Everything else is just kind of for fun. Had a lot of help from Fatal and Key on this map. Because seriously, like walling all of this in, and I'm noticing that little opening right there, which doesn't make any sense because we do have that sealed up. So I'm gonna have to go and check. It probably just didn't save it properly or something like that. But I put a couple power ups up here. Over there, of course, is the oven, uh, dishwasher with some cut sushi on top of it. And then over there is a toaster with toast. Uh, as well as another pathway that you can kind of get up onto that window get up over here Not exactly sure why this is here though That's really really weird that that generated like that But of course uh, things about this map may or may not be necessarily balanced It's more about having fun on it and Just kind of figuring out like the way I have it is it's like the way I design maps is I just kind of wait and see. So right now I'm noticing red team is at a huge advantage. So if I notice that lots of people, like uh, if red team ends up winning like this, this often, which I think it's also just because Val's here camping. Uh, but if, if the red team ends up winning this often, I might actually consider like nerfing some stuff in the map. Oh, Swazzy actually tricked me with his duplicate. <laughs> GG. So anyway, I guess since we only have a minute, I will actually try and go around the map right here. We got clock up here. You can actually grapple up there and get onto the fan if you're tricky enough. Got some tape right here. Got one of those weird little kitchen dolls, pepper, salt. Uh, then we got like a stapler and a ruler that goes into the kitchen. Also, this is a very good hiding spot if you're uh, trying to camp somebody. Cheese, food, hot dogs, and stuff like that. Uh, there's also the other floors on the... Uh, in, in there, but it doesn't really matter. This, of course, everyone's always wondering what the Tron goop is. That is soap. Uh, over here is a toaster. Then, of course, there is the oven right here. Shout out to Key about using the air gusts to actually make it seem like uh, steam, which was very, very nifty and cool. And now we are back in a full circle. Of course, from coming over here, you can go all the way down to this flower jump over here. So it's pretty even as far as movement is concerned. Uh, getting back on top of the map, however, 
Oh, I thought there was another little opening right there. Uh, you can get up to the blue side over there with a bunch of jump pads. And then let's see whether or not 13 seconds, 10 seconds rather, is enough time to actually get up into the red base. Made sure to have these strings of uh, glowing blocks just to kind of signify... Yes, Bowser, we just got it! Just to kind of signify how to actually get up there. So now we will actually play, if we can get another match going... We'll just play another match uh, just for fun where we'll actually like play in it instead of me showing off the map. So there's all sorts of powers all over the place. I do also have a hidden credits sign, which I hope I'm not missing somebody in the credits because I know I had like a lot of help, but it wasn't from that many people. So mostly because of the block placement and stuff like that. But otherwise, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seems like somebody ended up opting out. So you know what? I'm going to actually get out here. Use my survey tool. Survey says tool. <laughs> Come on, get it. Load in, map. Woo, survey tool. So hopefully that's going to end up sealing up the top of the map. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Hello, globe. I don't know why he's using that one because I want to use Master Chief. Master Chief. There we go. But I will go to my Chloromancer so we can do this. Yeah, so key fatal. And that was it. Which, very, very helpful because sealing in all these walls like this took, like, so long to make. So, anyway, the shortcut to how you actually get into this place is, of course, you just go to the spawn in TP1. Come up to the third floor. Right here is the portal, and you can see right here, PvP map order. Giant Kitchen is the first portal, and then it is our Pinata versus TP, and Hot Dog City, which is the one that Valor's working on right now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, we're going to start having some giveaways again soon. Uh, I just kind of had to do a couple preliminary videos to kind of get everybody back up to speed to what has actually been going on, because I've been very, very sick, so I spent most of my sick time building that map rather than like recording and stuff like that but otherwise thanks so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i very much would appreciate if you would hadouk in the like button share favorite and subscribe to join team pixel side on stay epic everybody Believe in yourself don't care